So I'm, gonna, I'm just going to call it spade like I see it in the Republican Party itself, right? The reason none of this makes sense is there's a contradiction in the Republican Party. The contradiction in the Republican Party is Biden is spending, you know, like a drunken sailor for sure. But the dirty little secret is the last administration did the same thing. And we got it. We, Trump administration, we got to call that out for what it is. And so I applaud these Freedom Caucus members who are holding a hard line on the debt ceiling because their head's in the right place. But there's this weird entanglement when they also where they also refuse to actually cut any of the things that President Trump you know, spent on, because that's uh, also a cardinal rule that you can't violate in the Republican Party right now. And so I think there's a third way. OK, I think it's a false debate between raising taxes, which is what Biden wants to do, or cutting spending, which is what one wing of the Republican Party is calling for. How have we forgotten about the best way to address both problems at once, which is this thing called economic growth? How about a pro-growth agenda in this country? Now, we had 4% plus GDP growth through 1971, 1972 for all of our nation's history. Ever since then, it's been 2.5% or less on average. We're well under 2.5% is what we're averaging today. And so I think that if you actually embrace a pro-growth agenda, we should be able to grow our way out of the problem. But we live in this cultural moment where you're supposed to apologize for that in this country. You know what the climate movement is about? It is all about a degrowth agenda. It is an anti-growth agenda. That's why it's opposed to nuclear energy, right? Because you would think that if you're opposed to carbon emissions, you would embrace nuclear energy. But no, 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 their problem with nuclear energy is it might be too good at solving even their own supposed energy crisis. And so what they really oppose is the growth agenda itself. And I, I know, I'm kind of disappointed. I thought this is obvious. Other Republicans should be seeing this stuff. They're not. They're, they're falling into the trap of the false debate of the other side of whether you're in the Trump camp or the McConnell camp for you know, spending more, but then if you're spending more, that can't go on forever, so you fall into Biden's trap of higher taxes, or is it just about cutting entitlements and assume that that's going to you know, solve a problem by playing defense? Well, the best defense is actually offense, and the best offense is actually growth. And so you know, I, I have, I have you know, a whole vision for unleashing the American economy. It's gonna be a core part of this campaign. I'm, I'm frankly surprised that we haven't seen other conservatives embrace this as the agenda. But nonetheless, I think that's something that I'm going to be leading the way on. And I think that's our answer out of uh, quagmire.